In this video I'll show you, how to create these 5 amazing paper transitions. And the last one is my favorite transition. I have added 2 video clips in the Premiere Pro timeline. Which is taken from a music video. Now we are gonna create a basic paper transition between these 2 clips. So move the indicator to the middle of these clips. Then move 5 frames backward, by hold on shift button and click left arrow key. Now click on this little camera icon to take a snapshot of this frame. Browse the location where you want to save it. Create a new folder. And select this folder as the snapshot location. Select the format as PNG. And remember to enable import into project. Now click on OK. It will make a snapshot in the project window. Now add the snapshot image above your video clip. Decrease the snapshot layer duration till the middle of these two clips. Now select the snapshot layer, right click on your mouse, and click on edit in Photoshop. It will open your image in the Photoshop application. Here I'm going to use a paper texture. You can check out my paper texture bundle under the description link. This texture bundle includes various high quality paper resources. 45 PNG paper rips, 25 paper textures, 20 PNG paper torrents, 20 plastic textures, and 4 different colors PNG tapes. For this transition, I'm going to use a paper rip texture. I'm going to use the paper rip 20. Simply drag and drop it to the Photoshop window. Bring the paper rip layer under the snapshot image. Now we will create clipping mask. So hold on alt button, and click on the snapshot image layer. Now select the image layer, and change the blend mode from normal to screen. To make it a little bit darker, select the paper rip layer, and go to levels. Drag the middle keyframe slightly to the right side. Now export this image by clicking on Alt plus Shift plus Ctrl plus W. Select the format as PNG. And click on export. Go to the snapshot location. And replace the snapshot image. Now let's back to the Premiere Pro. As you can see our first transition is ready. To make it feel more alive, let's add a sound effect on it. You can check out my essential sound effects pack under the description link. This pack includes over 500 high quality sound effects, separated into 25 distinct categories. For this one I'm going to use a camera shutter sound effect. Let's move to the next transition. Here I have added these two music video clips. Now move the indicator to the first frame of the second clip, and click on this little camera icon to take a snapshot of this frame. Browse the location where you want to save it. This time we don't need to import it into the project window. Then click on OK. Move to the Photoshop application, and open the snapshot image. Open the paper texture resources. I'm going to use the paper rip 35 for this transition. Drag and drop the paper rip image to the Photoshop window. Bring the paper rip layer under the snapshot image layer. Create a clipping mask with it. Select the image layer and change the blend mode from normal to screen. Now select all of these layers by holding on the control key. Then click control plus E on your keyboard. It will merge all of the layers. Now take the polygonal lasso tool from the toolbar and create a selection on this broken line. Then right click on your mouse and click layer via cut. It will separate the image into two layers. To export them separately, go to the file then go to Export, and click on Layers to Files. Browse the file location. Set the file type to PNG8. Enable transparency, and ensure that all the settings are checked in the same way as mine. Then click on Run. It will export each layer as a separate image file. Now back to the Premiere Pro. Double click on the project window and import these two images. Then drag and drop them to the end of the first clip. Move the indicator 10 frames backward, 
and adjust the duration of these images. Now select the left part of this image. Move to the Effect Controls tab, and add a keyframe on position. Make sure that the time indicator is placed at the beginning of this layer. Then change the X position value to the left, until it exits to the frame. Move the time indicator a few frames forward, and reset the position value. Now make this keyframe ease in, and move it to the last frame. Then select the second part of this image layer. Move the time indicator to the first frame, again add a keyframe on position. Now change the X position value to the right, until it exits to the frame. Move the time indicator a few frames forward, and reset the position value. Now make this keyframe ease in, and move it to the last frame. Let's check the preview. And the transition is ready. Let's add a sound effect on it. For this one, I'm gonna use the page flip sound effect. Now it looks perfect for me. Before going to the next transition, let's talk about the sponsor of this video. I've been getting a lot of questions about, where's the best place to learn video editing? Skillshare is the best place for anyone, who wants to learn video editing from beginning to advanced. Skillshare has over 34,000 video courses on a wide range of topics, and most of them are taught by experts in their fields. Such as Jordi Van Depute from Cinecom.net. Daniel Scott is an Adobe certified trainer. Marks Brownlee, Ali Abdul, Fred Trevino and more. Skillshare is all about hands-on learning. Inside the courses, you'll get the project file and resources. And you can discuss with creators. Once you complete a course, you can submit your project to earn rewards, badges, and a certificate from Skillshare. If you don't know exactly where to start your editing journey, Skillshare offers the learning paths. And curated list of classes to take you from beginner to advanced. Each learning path is curated by category, and includes classes from a variety of teachers, to help you discover new industry pros to learn from. Skillshare is not just a platform, it's a community of learners and creators. It encourages collaboration and interaction between members, and individual attention to connect with experts in your field. Check out Skillshare under the description link, and the first 500 people will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare. Let's move to the next transition. I have already placed two video clips on the timeline. Now move the time indicator to the middle of these two clips. Move 10 frames backward. And click on this little camera icon to take a snapshot of this frame. Now open the snapshot image in Photoshop. Inside the paper texture bundle, Drag and drop this paper rip to the Photoshop window. Bring the paper rip layer under the snapshot image layer. Create a clipping mask with it. Select the image layer, and change the blend mode from normal to screen. Then select the paper rip layer, and go to curves. Make this curve line just like that, to make it a little bit darker. Now it looks better. Then select all of these layers, and click Ctrl plus E to merge them together. Now take the pen tool from the toolbar, and create a selection on the left part of the paper texture. Right click on your mouse, and select Make Selection. To separate this selection into another layer, click on Ctrl plus J. You can see that a new layer is created with the current selection. Again click on the main image layer. Now make a selection to the middle part. Click Ctrl plus J, to separate this selection into another layer. As you can see, here we got three different parts of the image. Now click on File. Go to Export. And click on Layers to Files. Browse the file location. 
please ensure that your settings are the same as mine. Then click on run. It will export all the layers as different images. Now going back to the Premiere Pro. Import these images to the project panel. Add the first part to the right side of your current time indicator. Then move three frames forward by clicking on the right arrow key. And make a cut here. Now delete the unwanted part. Then add the second part to the right side of your current time indicator. Again move three frames forward. And make a cut here. Then delete the unwanted part. Now add the last or final image to the timeline. And adjust this layer duration to the last frame of your first clip. Let's check the preview. And the transition is ready. Here I'm gonna use the paper crumple sound effect. It looks perfect for me. Now let's create another one. I have already placed two video clips on the timeline. Now move the indicator to the middle of these two clips. Move 10 frames backward. Then click on this camera icon and take a snapshot of this frame. Now open this snapshot image in the Photoshop application. Inside the resources, drag and drop the paper rip image to the Photoshop window. Bring the paper rip layer under the snapshot image layer. Create a clipping mask with it. Select the image layer, and change the blend mode from normal to screen. Let's make it a little bit darker by using the curve tool. Then select all of these layers, and click Ctrl plus E to merge them together. Now I'm gonna add a square paper rip, but you can use any one that you like. Then adjust the size and position, where do you think it will look perfect? Now I'm gonna add another snapshot of this video clip, and bring it over the paper rip. And create a clipping mask with the paper rip. Adjust the scale and position of the image. And change the blend mode from normal to screen. Again make it a little bit darker by using the curve tool. Then merge these top three layers. Let's add another paper rip from the resources. Now I'm gonna place it in the top right corner. Then add another snapshot image, and do the same things like the first one. As you can see, here we've got three different paper rip images. Now click on File, go to Export, and click on Layers to Files. Then just click on Run to export all the layers into separate images. Now let's back to the Premiere Pro. Import these paper rip images to the project panel. Now add the main image to the right side of your current time indicator. Adjust the image layer duration to the last frame of your first clip. And move three frames forward by clicking on right arrow key. Now add the second image to the timeline. Adjust the layer duration same as the first one. Again move three frames forward. Now add the last image, and adjust the layer duration. Let's check out the preview. The transition is ready. Let's add some sound effects. It looks perfect. Now let's move to the last one. This is the last and my favorite transition. So move the time indicator to the first frame of the second clip. Then click on this little camera icon to take a snapshot of this frame. Enable import into the project. And click on OK. Move to the project window, and here you will get the snapshot. 
Now add the snapshot image over the first clip. Move 10 frames backward. And adjust the layer duration with the time indicator. Now right click on your mouse, and click on edit in Photoshop. It will open your image to the Photoshop application. Now go to the window, and open the contextual taskbar. Now remove the image background. Open the paper texture bundle, and go to the paper torn folder. Add a paper torn to the Photoshop window. Here we are going to adjust the paper rip outside of the subject. Drag it under the image layer. Then go to edit, and open the puppet warp. Here we can add a bunch of points to align it roughly. Now hold and drag these points to align it with your subject, and we can do it roughly. Let's add one more torn piece of paper to complete the left side. When it's done, now we are going to use a basic paper texture. So go to the paper texture folder. And add a texture to Photoshop. Bring the texture layer to the top. And adjust the scale and position to cover the entire subject. Now create a clipping mask here. And change the blend mode from normal to screen. Now export this image by clicking on Alt plus Shift plus Ctrl plus W. Select the format as PNG. And click on Export. And replace it with your snapshot image. Now let's back to the Premiere Pro. The transition is ready, but if you think it's too long, so you can decrease the image layer duration. The best part of this transition, we can use any video or object to make this transition. Let's add some sound effects on it. Now it looks perfect. So that's all for today. If you really enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up. To get more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. Then enable the bell icon, to be notified of our next one. If you want more videos like this, please let me know in the comment section. I will see you in the next one. Have a nice day.